just get smashed with a whole bunch of rain probably really hurts. If you're going around here without any armor on or whatever, just start getting pelted. Ah, oh, goodness. <laughs> that was uh, why Pumeni had to give up a whole bunch of the, the Boots of Blinding Speed. It wasn't so bad being blind, because she had figured out the little magic of resisting. Pimeni, she knew what she was doing there. Old Pimeni, she would just throw on those shoes, she'd she'd have some uh, magic resist for one second, pop that. Oh, she'd be able to see just fine, she'd start running. It was actually just shitloads of bugs. Boom! Smack, smack, smack! Oh shit, all this shit just covering all over her face. Oh, it's terrible. She's getting beat up, she's taking damage. Oh my gosh, just little flies, little... Little bugs, little bugs. Oh shit, just ran into a silt strider! <laughs> just humongous fucking Morrowind ass bugs as well. Just fucking run into millions of silt striders. Oh, you gotta watch out for it. The last thing you want is a silt strider on your fucking windshield. <laughs> Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Morrowind Mondays. We are out here in Balmora! Oh my gosh, beholding the glorious portcullis in the sky to Aetherius as it shines over the Dwemeroons. What are they called? They're Arkansand, right? That's Arkansand. Well, I guess we'll never know. I'm pretty sure that's Arkansand over there, right? Oh my god, look at that. Gosh. Let's just out here again. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Oh, I overshot him big time. Oh, no. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Gordon. I ruined it. <laughs> fuck. Oh, man. All right, there we go. Oh, no, I've overshot again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, it looks kind of great. Look at that. Oh, beautiful, I guess. How's that uh, extra draw distance, huh? Man, it's amazing how much of it, uh, we, we've said this a million times before, but it's amazing how well a lot of things line up in Morrowind with the draw distance and all that being extended thanks to mods, when, uh, originally, it would have just been a shitload of fuck there. <laughs> anyway, in between videos, we did a whole bunch of inventory management. Well, not a whole bunch, but, you know, the huge, a fair amount. Oh, shit, I actually forgot to drop off this Serrano Ebony Helm. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We'll get it eventually. <laughs> but for now, we need to head on out to none other than the Fighters Guild in Vivek and speak with Lorbumal Grow a Glock, right? Gotta get the Fighters Guild stuff done. Whoops. We actually have to take the Mages Guild over there. There we are. Good. And uh, we'll do some things for him. Now, I was pretty sure that Welcome with Lorbromo Grow a Glock, some of the more that? shifty, I think it was, I was thinking that was the murder ones, right? The ones where, well, not necessarily murder, but in some cases, yeah, mur murder. But uh, the ones where you have to take someone out, you have to take someone down. And there is a friendlier option that you can do. And I was pretty sure I remembered reading that uh, you could check in with Perseus Mercius. I so, so I went and I double checked and absolutely, yes, you can do that with I think all of them. I didn't go read into too much detail, but um, I'm pretty sure with Lorbermol Groa Glock's quests for the ones that involve you fighting someone, trying to murder someone or whatever the hell, you can actually go and speak with Perseus and he'll give you some sort of extra dialogue that helps you solve it passively or pacifistically, with a pacifist route, right? Or an alternative route. Uh, so we should absolutely do that. At the very least, I think we'll probably have, like, optional things that we can find in the moment without actually speaking to Perseus. But it could be fun to go back and check in with him. I'm not well sure. Met, we'll see. We'll see how it pans out. But also, in doing that, <laughs> I found out, uh, that, oh shit, we could have done the same thing for some of Edis's quests, Pleasure. right? Oh no, goodness. Alright, let's head on over here, see if we can find him. Do you think he'll- he knows? Truly. How may I help you? He has no fucking idea that old Shuring Hardheart has turned into a pants and hammer. Oh my god, what a fool. What a damn fool. Alright, Lorbomo, Grella Glock, I'm here for some orders. May you be also, Gordon is here as well. Alright, let's see. You here for- <laughs> He sounds weird. He sounds almost like a wharf from Next Generation, right? Hang on. Oh god, he's not gonna do it again. I can't quite get it. You here for orders? Or advancement, Guardian? Or was there something else you wanted? 
<laughs> Fuck me. All right, advancement. Nah, we can't, of course. Oh, uh, look. I can't advance you anymore, Guardian. For further advancement, you'll have to talk to Shoring Hardheart himself in Vivek. Uh-oh. <laughs> and orders. There we are. Nargro Shagrumph said he'd deliver a ring to Rainus Ineth, but he hasn't delivered. Go talk to Nargro Shagrumph and bring the Juice Daw Feather Ring to me. All right. Juice Daw Feather Ring. Uh, it's the exact same shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, look. Nargrosha Grump said he'd get a Juicedaw feather ring for our client. Nar says he doesn't have the ring, but he's a liar. Find him in the Lalu Canton Plaza and bring me that ring. All right, anything else? Just go to the Lalu Canton Plaza and get me the ring from Nargrosha Grump. All right, jeez, man, he's so impatient about it. Orders... Okay, so this one isn't like a murder one, so there's no sense in trying to go and check in on Perseus for a pacifist. Ah, Perseus's like pacifist that. route. Yeah, I like it. Okay, let's see. He said Halalu Canton, right? Oh god, I should have paid a little bit more attention. Yeah, Halalu Canton Plaza. There we are. Head on out over here. Look at this, Gordon. Just a couple of buds out here and a stroll in the big city, huh? Ho ho ho. What's not to love? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gordon. Gordon's fucking embarrassed by being with me, but he can't escape. Every... Every... Few years, or several hundred years eventually, <laughs> he gets sucked out of uh, oblivion to meet with some fucking asshole. <laughs> For some reason, they just all have the exact same personality. <laughs> Alright. And let's go on over here to... Halalu, which is over on the western end. There we go. Over here to the plaza. There we are. Good. Oh, get on down over here. Oh my god, Jesus! Fuck me. <laughs> god, it scared the shit out of me. Oh, look, Please, go ahead Nalami Valis. Should we listening. speak to you about something? Background? You're just a commoner. You have anything interesting? Advice? Oh, look. Hey, she actually does have... Wow, she actually unlocked a unit of dialogue here for us. Vivek is huge. It is easy to get lost, but if you observe the law, you can't get into much trouble. My advice is wander freely. Learn your way around. See the craftsmen and traders. See what the craftsmen and traders have to sell. See the sights the pilgrims come to see. The Ministry of Truth. The High Fane. The Palace of Vivek. And while you're here, go take a tour of Ebenhart, the imperial town across the lagoon to the west. A lot to see and do over there, too. Okay, great. Tell me, what's the commoner's uh, input on all this stuff? The Ministry of Truth was hollowed out to provide a prison and re-education center operated by the Temple Ordinators for the correction of heretics. <laughs> what a fucking sentence! Jesus! <laughs> High Fane. The High Fane is the largest tribunal temple on Vardenfell. Archcanon Serioni presides over the temple, along with a large staff of priests, healers, and monks. Pilgrims travel from all over Morrowind to view the High Fane and the Ministry of Truth, and to offer prayer and thanks before the Palace of Vivek. Tell me about the palace. The Palace of Vivek is the abode of the mortal form of the god-hero Lord Vivek, the warrior poet of the three deities who comprise Alm Sivi, the divine patrons of the Tribunal Temple. Only the most devout are admitted to the presence of Lord Vivek, and only at his initiation. Hang on, let's, let's just move this over here so I'm not like looking to the side of my freaking screen to read. Beneath the Palace of Vivek is the Puzzle Canal, a place of worship and testing for questing heroes hoping to receive Vivek's favor. Many choice treasures are guarded by Daedric servants in the Puzzle Canal's dark passages. Right. And we found one such such horrible, terrible Daedric servant down there. <laughs> he was just trying to sell swords, wasn't he? Alright, Puzzle Canal. Beneath the Palace of Vivek is the Puzzle Canal, 
a place of worship and testing for questing heroes, hoping to receive Vivek's favor. Many choice treasures are guarded by Daedric servants in the Puzzle Canal's dark passages. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Good talk. Let's head on out. Just on the off chance that she has some kind of quest. Like maybe this guy. Anything? Let's see. Rumors? No. Oh, look. Hey, this guy actually has input on Ilmeni Dren, who we just did a bunch of quests on. Let's hear his take. You'd think she'd be more discreet, seeing as how the Duke's her father. But Ilmeni Dren is a strong-willed young woman, and she hates slavery with a passion. Her family's wealth and influence means nothing to her. She's proud of living in a St. Delian slum, and she doesn't mind being seen with known abolitionists like that bookseller, Jobasha. Yeah, right on. Ilmeni Dren's dope. Let's see. Advice? Nah, that's stuff that we'd heard from the other lady. Let's see. A little secret? Nah. Alright. Yeah, we need to be asking more people stuff. Right, get their input on uh, different people and places and things in Morrowind, right? I think it's a good thing. Alrighty, who are we looking for out here? Oh, this is probably him, right? Yeah. Nargro Shagrump. I definitely remembered it was an orcish name. Let's do a quick save. There we are. Good. What's up, Nar? Uh, excuse me! <laughs> oh, it's the Nargavarine! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what do you have to do with, huh? Yes, the juiced off feather ring. Fine, take it. Never liked the stupid ring anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he's very, he's very, uh, oh god, what is he soon today about? He's like, not that I ever cared about the ring, unless. <laughs> god, what a guy. Oh, that Nar Gros Oh, what a character. Let's see, does he have anything else to say if I talk to him about again? I gave you the ring. You lose it already. <laughs> He's such a flirt, God. All right. Jesus, Nar, come on. You old lug. You old hunk of coal. <laughs> Let's get on back to the fire skill. <laughs> you old... <laughs> God, what's another old ass experience? Oh, hey, look, it's Gordon over here just pissing in a corner. It's amazing no one thinks that Gordon is a murderer as... His naked, freaky ass is just walking around like some kind of Scooby-Doo-looking fucking villain with his hands out like that. <laughs> Screaming as he runs with his mouth completely agape. <laughs> fucking Gordon. Alright, let's head on out over to the Fighters Guild. There we are. Lorbomol Groaglock may have among my favorite orcish names to enunciate, right? Bashagro... Grosnagdu. I mean, that one's... A do is pretty good to have in there as well. All right. What's up, Lorbumol? There we go. I sent you to get the juiced off feather ring. Where is it? It's right here. All right. You have the ring. Good. Give me the ring, and I'll get you your pay. <laughs> His voice is changing. All right. Here, take it. Here's 100 septums, Guardian. Easy money. You want more orders? I got them. All right, how about some orders? There's an Argonian that can't keep his mouth shut. Go shut Tongue Toad's mouth. Ooh, he wants me to rip out Tongue Toad's tongue. All right. What is... Does his name imply that this dude's out here licking toads and shit? Go. Find Tongue Toad at the rat in the pot and I'll run. Silence him, and I'll give you 500 septums. I wonder what he's saying. All right. Huh. Sure. Fair enough. You have great understanding. Maybe old Tongue Toad's calling <laughs> fucking Lorbomol some kind of milk drinking fetcher. <laughs> oh, fucking Lorbomol, what an idiot. Alright, let's head on out over to Aldrun, which works out for us, right? Since I, this seems like a one where he's asking us to take care of it. Right. So we should speak with Perseus. There we are. And see if he's got any extra input. Alrighty. And we'll head on over to the... Oh, gosh. To the Fighters Guild first before we... Oh, look. And any new stuff? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Take that. Restore Magicka. Actually, should we take some of these other things as well? Hmm. We'll just throw them on the floor here. We're making, like, a little collection. <laughs> Alright. There we are. Good. And dope. Alright. Head on out. 
I was thinking also that as we come upon vendors, maybe we should consider selling stuff, right? Like, we have some valuable things on us that need to be sold, rather than just going to the few vendors that usually hit up. I'm not sure. All right. Let's see. Not there. We need to... Oh, yeah. We do need to go to the Guild of Fighters. My bad. Yeah, because this is where Perseus is. All right. Perseus, what's up? Old shirtless fucking Lorbomol Groa Glock wants me to take some dude down. What do you have to say? Oh, gosh. Well yeah, met. Right over here. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Let's see. How about... Let's see. I don't want to click on orders because I'll probably progress his arc of quests, right? So, Tongue Toad. Here we go. What is Tongue Toad's crime? I don't know that it's right to kill him. Maybe you could convince him to leave instead. All right. Anything else? Eh, fair enough. Yeah, and like I said, I think some of them you don't have to necessarily talk. In fact, maybe all of them. I don't know. They, where you have to talk to Perseus to get him done. All right. Like, it, it could just come up as you're doing the quest without even getting info from Purse. There we go. Do you like how I called him Purse? <laughs> I bet he loves that. All right. Tongue Toad. Where are you at? Well, this might be him down here. Oh, what is that noise? Oh, shit! Oh my god, they got like battle bots up in here. Dular Grobuzga, is this yours? Your super spider? Fuck me! God, that is cool as shit, but also creepy. Man, they really got rid of all the fleshy parts on Dwemer sort of machines, didn't they? Automata. Huh. I'm trying to think, did the ones in Skyrim, there weren't any fleshy ones, were there? Like, you oh god. <laughs> Good lord, like some fucking old man clearing his throat. Jesus. Alright, now the year where, Tilon, where is, there you are. I said All right. we are. Okay, what's up, Tongue Toad? Yes, I'm Tongue Toad. <laughs> That's him. Alright, Tongue Toad. What? The Fighters <laughs> The Fighters Guild sent you to kill me? <laughs> Why did he do that? Tongue Toad, you need to stop licking these toads with your tongue. It's making you sound all weird. All right, let's talk about the Fighters Guild. <laughs> oh, he doesn't give a shit. All right, kill me. <laughs> Fuck, I'm sorry, Tongue Toad. <laughs> The Fighters Guild licks the boots of the Kamana Talk. You wouldn't kill a brother thief, would you? Would you let me leave town and tell the Fighters Guild that I fled? <laughs> oh god, just kill him. Let him leave town. Yeah, you can leave town. Thank you, Lyle. I will leave soon. May Stenda watch over you. Oh, thank you, Tongue Toad. I wonder if this isn't a... You don't get the alternate route if you're not a Thieves Guild member. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe you do, right? Alright, well, I guess he's gonna be gone for fucking ever. Let's see, does he have anything that I want? He has a guy dialed run. Alright, how about some training? Do you do any fun training there, Tongue Toad? Oh shit, he does some unarmored. Wow, <laughs> our unarmored is only 19. Fuck me, let's get to at least 20. There we are. Whew, man. Thank goodness, now we're not a complete fucking embarrassment. Good lord, people will be going around. <laughs> oh my god, I heard the Nerverine is only 19 and unarmored. What a fucking noob! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let us head on out. Oh no, wait, can we, can we tell Perseus after we've done it as well? Let's see. He may just say the same thing I'd be until we progress the quest to the next really. step. Tongue Toad. Oh yeah, he does. I'm glad you spared Tongue Toad. No one should die for telling the truth. All right. Hey, <laughs> don't go talking like that in the, the big city, huh, Perseus? Don't go down to Vivic City itself. Ho, 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 ho. They'll throw you up in the big rock. All right. I must say. Let's head on over here. Over back to Lorber Mall. There we are. Oh, God. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> Part of me was just looking for a Lorber Mall on that list. <laughs> Fuck. Alright. Let's head on out over. There we go. And perfect. Good. Alright. Is Lorber Mall the only one here who's shirtless? Even Shuring Hardheart had a shirt on. Fucking old Lorber Mall. 
Just shirtless with pants. Maybe he lost his shirt. You know, maybe he lost it, just like the guy who lost his pants. And he's just pretending like he took it off, right? But it's nowhere to be found. Hmm. Lorbermall, you know, it's okay to be vulnerable sometimes. It's okay to admit that you lost your shirt. All right. You get Tongue Toad to shut his mouth yet? I want that done. Tongue Toad? Good work, Lyle. Just as long as Tongue Toad keeps his mouth shut is your goal. All right. Anything else about Tongue Toad? Tongue Toad will keep his mouth shut now. All right. Advancement? Yeah, of course he can't. All right. Orders. What have you got? I got a bounty on a Khajiit. Name's Drosakar. Haven't we met a Drosakar before? Huh. Drosakar. I got a bounty on this Khajiit outlaw, Drosakar. He's hiding here, in Vivek, in St. Holmes, I think. All right, anything else about him? Nope, same thing. All right, let's do a quick save. Goodness, he, this guy's in Vivek. But we should still head on over to Perseus and get the alternate round, right? There we are. And, whoops, no. Head on over here to the Mages Guild. And then down to Ald Run. Should we rest up? Here, let's actually quick save. This may doom us, but eh, what can you do? Alright, head on over here. And let's go to Ald Run. There we are, cross our fingers. Oh, look, it's fine. I must say totally fine, it's all good. Alright, and then Fighter's Guild. Goodness. A lot of going back and forth, isn't there? All right. And then... What's up, Perseus? Let's see. We are looking for Drosikar. I have heard of this Khajiit, and he is a known outlaw. I believe that this bounty is a legitimate one, Guardian. Oh, thanks. Okay, cool. I guess we'll just wipe this fucking dude out then. Huh. All right. Sure. Let's go and fuck him up. Welcome. There we go. Back to... He said he was in St. Olms, right? Hit up the Deline, head up the Olms. Hit them all up. There we go. Travel out to Vivek. Good. Oh, look at that. No crashing. I wonder... We haven't had a fast travel crash in a while, haven't we? I wonder if I did something. I, didn't, I don't even know what it was. Maybe it was fixing that Helm of Tohan issue. Or maybe the glass? Yeah, because I never did actually manage to fix the Helm of Tohan stuff. It was the glass that I somehow fixed. <laughs> Good God. All right. Let's see. St. Holmes, right? Let's double check. Yeah, Drosakar. Drosakar is somewhere in Vivek. St. Holmes, I think. Okay. Good. And St. Holmes is right over here. All right. Perfect. There we go. Good. Just gets smashed with a whole bunch of rain. Probably really hurts. If you're going around here without any armor on or whatever. Oh my god, you should be able to, like, skill up your own armor by traveling fast enough through the water, right? Just start getting pelted. Ah, oh, goodness. <laughs> that was, uh, why Pumeni had to give up a whole bunch of the, the Boots of Blinding Speed. It wasn't so bad being blind, because she had figured out the little Magicka Resist thing. Pumeni, she knew what she was doing there. It was actually just shitloads of bugs. Old Pimeni, she would just throw on those shoes, she'd she'd have some uh, magic resist for one second, pop that. Oh, she'd be able to see just fine, she'd start running. Boom! Smack, smack, smack! Oh shit, all this shit just covering all over her face. Oh, it's terrible. She's getting beat up, she's taking damage. Oh my gosh, just little flies, little little bugs, little bugs. Oh shit, just ran into a stilt strider! <laughs> just humongous fucking morrowind ass bugs as well. Just fucking run into millions of stilt striders. Oh, you gotta watch out for it. The last thing you want is a stilt strider on your fucking windshield. <laughs> they just fucking obliterate the entire fucking car. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's where, why, where the Silt Strider graveyard is from. From wizards just going too fast, smashing into them. <laughs> Fuck. Those fucking wizards. They're at it again. Alright. Let's see. <laughs> Who are we even looking for out here? Oh, yeah. A, a, a what do you call him, dude? A Khajiit. Drosakar, right? Let's see. Let's ask around. Bushius, do you know a Drosakar? There's a Khajiit in one of the homes off the South Side Canal. He looked suspicious. All right. 
South Side Canal. All right. So let's head on out here. And let's go on down. South Side Waste Works. No, thank you. There we are down here. Is this low enough? Or do we got to go a bit lower? Yeah, South Side Canal. All right, should we just check all these? Please go ahead, Alexander. Right. What's up? I'm listening. Nalvili Seren. Oh, look. She has some trade for us. There's a whole bunch of clothes. Huh. Weird. Why is this shirt actually in a sort of pose like that? Huh. Yeah, it doesn't mimic the same pose as the other ones. Oh, that's very strange. Okay. Let's see. Cancel that. Let's see. Do you know where Drosakar is? No, she doesn't know exactly. Other than the fact that he looks suspicious. Alright, can we take, uh... I'm also looking a little suspicious. I'm just gonna try and lift your pillow here. No, I cannot... Oh! Yeah, let's do a quick save. Will she let me... Oh, for fuck's sake! Alright, fine, fine, fine. Alright, let's get on out. <laughs> Alright. Can't have any fucking fun around here taking someone's palongus. They won't have it. All right. Actually, hang on. Maybe now we can. She's a little bit down there. Hang on. Let's let's just amulet of shadows this shit, right? Let's just pop. No, because then we won't be able to talk. We won't be able to talk to folks. Fuck it. We'll leave a pillow. Head on out here. We'll just run through these other South Canal homes. All right. South two. Let's see. Oh, it's him. Oh God! Look, he's got evil candles. Oh my God! As is true in Cyrodiil, so too in Morrowind Land. Evil, sinister-looking candles. Oh, and you know he's evil as well, because he's got daggers and money. He was stabbing daggers into one of these fellas. Alright, what have you got back here? Got some booze, some picks and probes. A bent probe. Huh. Alright. Oh, let's see. What's up, Drosakar? Let's see, background... Oh, he does look. Draw the car. There's little jobs here and there. All right, great. Let's see. How about? I guess we should just ask him about himself, right? Here we go. Yes. What is it? Uh, he doesn't seem to mind. Come on, a tongue. Is he in it? Huh. The come on a tongue has grown powerful. Now, why would he be in the come on a tongue? That totally goes against their beliefs, right? And ruthless since the Imperial. Since the Im <laughs> Fuck, I got him wrong. That was that's like Argonia. Since the Imperial occupation. <laughs> I don't know their voices! I'm off my game today! Alright, fuck it. Let's just kill this man. Let's kill this man. Here, let's go on up. There we are. Taunt. Let's see. If you're looking for If you are looking for a fight, fool, you are likely to find one. That does it. I'm going to fuck you up. Uh, he purrs at me like a cat. Guess what? I don't need a fucking good ass weapon to fuck you up, Drosh. Sakar. Uh, we're gonna duke it out big time. Look at this. Uh, look at me. Oh, uh, fuck yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Eat shit. Eat shit. Oh, uh, yes. Level that hand to hand. There we go. It's just like Foreign Gilneth Mark II. Oh, shit. We already fucked him up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eat shit, Drosakar. Eat shit. Eat some shit! Oh god. I'm missing him because I can't see where I'm sh firing my fists off. My fists of fucking fury. Oh god. Fuck, I don't have enough strength! I'm not doing enough to him! Hang on. It's time to get buff as shit. It's time to just max out on Sujama. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look, I'm gonna get so fucking strong and just beat the shit out of him big time. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm getting the real Popeye thing going on, right? There we go. Look at that. Also, massively decreased our carry weight. Oh, my fist of fury! Oh, your bones will be my dinner! It didn't make that much of a difference. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Look, hand to hand is going up. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. We can totally get him. Ugh, charge it up a bit. There we go. Keep punching his butt. Oh, good shit. Good. Man, it must suck to fight someone in hand-to-hand -hand combat, right? You just continuously be going in and out of consciousness. Like, I'm assuming that's what happens when they lay down the crown. They've been knocked out and then recover. And they <laughs> just repeatedly keep, keep getting knocked out. Oh my god. You would get, like, some really bad brain damage, right? 
Like already, it's not great, but whew, just going in and out of consciousness like that, that cannot be good. Gosh, it's liable to kill a man. Ooh, he's dead now. <laughs> All right, let's see, what'd you have? Eh, eh nothing much. All right, let's take his pants off. There we go. <laughs> oh God, look at the crease for his butt. Wow, kind of sexy. We probably shouldn't have taken his pants off. It's a little too fucking hot in here now. All right, got a crate filled with some eggs. You know what? We'll take one egg. That way we can place it later. All right, anything else? We'll take his money. He's got a big jug. That's fine. And let's see. Anything over here? Big old sack full of hackle low. Other stuff. All right. Man, dude just had a bunch of crates up in here, huh? Was he, like, smuggling shit or something? Smuggling eggs? Maybe he was friends with the egg poachers from earlier, right? Huh. All right. Yeah, just hold on. We'll take the soap. Why not? At least he's staying simple and clean. All right, what have we got over here? Some yams. You know what? Worth taking. Okay. Oh, look, my UI pop-ups have faded away. Let's get them back. There we go. Good. More egg. Shitloads of eggs. Dude, this guy must have been an egg poacher for sure. Man, maybe he's one of the people who likes to eat eggs. Right? Okay. Let's grab that probe. And look, his pillow is nothing to scoff at. Or nothing to be impressed at. Scoff at in, like, a way of amazement. <laughs> Alright, let's lay our egg and be done with it. There we are. Let's see, large one. Good. Perfect. Alright. Now, let us head on back up to old Lorbermal. Tell him the good-ass news that we beat the shit out of him. Alright. Over here. Too bad we couldn't, like, recruit him into the Thieves' Guild. Though maybe he's an outlaw by murder. Right? Not just an egg poacher. Okay, head on over here. Oh god, getting stuck in the wall. There we are. Good. And let's see... Over here to the Fighters' Guild. Oh, look! Acrobatics slowly climbing on up, isn't it? Good to see that shit, right? Okay, and then... Over this way to Lorbomal, what's up? I feel I can truly share with you without fear. Oh man, that's so flattering, especially since I killed his friend in the other room. Alright. I gave you the contract on that Khajiit, Dro Sakar. He dead yet? Dro Sakar. I heard you got that Khajiit. Here's the five hundred septum bounty. Oh great. Anything else? <laughs> you sure got that Khajiit, Guardian. Ho, ho, ho. To give me another order. Souverine, Souverine Dove says that Liriel Stoin in Aldrun owes him 2,000 septums. Get Liriel's debt money and bring it back to me. You get to keep half of it yourself. All right. I think we saw her when our last trip in Aldrun, didn't we? Yes, her. Go, collect that debt from her. Find her an old run at the rat in the pot. Yeah, we probably did run it to her. Let's see. Does he have anything else to say? Oh, look. Do stuff for the ring. Nasha Groff learned his lesson. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go talk to what's-his-name first. This one also works out well. All righty. Oh, head on over here. Yeah, I guess the last one... We were actually intended to kill him, right? And he was in Vivek. He didn't. We didn't actually have to go out to Aldrun to take down our bounty target. Okay. I must say. Head on out over here. And there we are. Let's you see. You seem like very good company. Thank you. All right. Let's travel to Aldrun. There we are. Man. What did? Did they ever explain why the Mages Guild stopped doing the Guild Guide stuff? Huh. Have we ever talked about that before? I'm not sure. I don't know. Because it seems like they would have made a killing off of it, right? Alright. Let's head on over to the Fighters Guild, right? Yeah, we need to check in with Perseus. In case this isn't some sort of actual real-ass target, right? Okay. Perseus, I'm back. Lorbermal's been doing a lot. Perseus, maybe you want to just come out with me to... I'll run. I'll, I mean, or Vivek. I'll pay like for the the guild guide fee. You can just kind of like hide around in the water, and I'll talk to you there. No? Okay. 
You here for orders? Oh, shit. Oh, no, I clicked on it accidentally. All right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're not going to talk about that yet. <laughs> All right. Actually, uh, Percy Sam, uh, how about, uh, let's talk about, uh, what's, uh, what's their name? Oh, shit. What was their name? Oh, no. Who was I supposed to, who was I looking for? Oh, shit. Oh, it was someone with a fancy name, wasn't it? Yeah, let's see. I don't know. Who was it? Let's see. Oh, Bounty. All right, I see. Oh, no, wait, I can't ask him about Bounty. Oh, weird. Huh. Okay. I guess we'll just go over there and talk to him. Maybe I fucked it up by speaking to him just then. Oh, God. Oh, no. All right. Let's head on over here to the rat in the pot. Knock, knock. How's the friend? How do you do? All right. Let's see, is it you? No, is it? Yeah, it's you. Tell me about yourself. Oh my god, what were we about to do? What can I do for you, Master Thief? Let's see. Do you have... What's your background? Yeah, she's in the guild. How about you? I am Liriel. How may I help you? Bounty? No. Gosh, what was it about that we had to ask her? Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, look, we can ask her about Tongue Toad. He hasn't been by in a while don't know exactly what happened to him. Huh. Did we not uncover enough dialogue at Lorbrumal? Did I not ask him the right shit? Oh, God. Maybe I did not ask him. Let's see. Bounty? Huh. Yeah, I guess I didn't. Fuck me. Oh, my gosh. What a damn fool. All right. Let's head on back over to Vivek. Go ahead, please. There we are. Over this way. And let's travel on back to Vivid Guild of Mages. How come it's eight gold? Oh, because of their disposition, right? Gotcha. Go ahead, please. All right. Was wondering why the prices were slightly different. Okay, Lorbamol, fucking a. Let's ask him about bounty. What did I do? Tell me all about the <laughs> the quicker picker upper. <laughs> all right. No, he won't tell me. He won't tell me anything. Go collect the debt from her. Huh. Well, for fuck's sake. How will I ever? Oh, no. Can I, like, talk to someone here about it? Let's see. Can I ask about... No, I cannot. She's not there in this person, but maybe because they're a scout. How about this guy? Let's see. No. Oh, my gosh. Are we really just supposed to destroy this person? Well met, friend. All right. Let's head on back, I guess. Fuck me. Welcome. All right. Head on back to Outrun. Maybe I missed something with Perseus because I clicked on that shit? I'm not sure. Let's go in and check back in with Perseus, right? Okay, head on over here. And let's see. Or you don't think... Huh. Yeah, because it didn't update our quest when we talked to Perseus about orders. Yeah, so I was wondering if if somehow, when I clicked on that, it got rid of all of Lorbomol's quests, right? But I don't think so. Because it didn't even give me a journal update when I asked Perseus about it. Okay, head on down here. I'd be happy What's up, to Perseus? Talk. My pleasure, really. Let's talk about... Yeah, I can't ask about her. Huh. Let's see. Anything else? I can still ask about the other targets, though, can't I? Yeah. Huh. Alright. Let's see. Bandits and Sarant? No. How about this dude? Will he have anything interesting to say? Yeah, look. I believe she works at the Rat in the Pot here in town. Alright. Let's go over there and talk to her again, I guess. Huh. Because we couldn't ask her about Bounty or whatever. Let's see. And what's up? Liriel Stoin? Yeah. Okay, she's just here to help. Huh. Can we ask about Lorbomol himself? Maybe... Hmm. We can't ask about... Let's see, what was I it? Say, Specifically? Right debt now. money. Please go ahead. Has a job for me involving debt money that is owed. Huh. Let's see. Quests. 
And Lorbumal, or Fighter's Guild even. Yeah, Fighter's Guild. Liriel's debt. Yeah, that's it. It, did, it doesn't have any other keywords. Huh. Weird. Did it, like, bug out or something? Yeah, let's check her name. Let's see. Under L. Liriel Stoin. Yes, her. Go collect that debt from her. Find her in Aldrun at the Rat in the Pot. I believe she works at the Rat in the Pot here in town. Alright. I am Liriel. How may I help you? Maybe we can ask about Aldrun? No. What? Huh. Maybe we can talk to someone here about it. Let's see. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, she's... She's she's around here somewhere. Usually behind the bar. Okay. Nothing about debt or whatever. Hmm. What? Weird. Maybe I messed it up when I went back. Oh, fuck me. Here, maybe we need to load. Let's just do a quick load here. Oh, God. How far back are we? Oh, shit. Alright, you know what? We'll just speed run it. We'll go super duper speed. Just on the off chance that I somehow messed it up. Because she definitely seems like a target that we shouldn't take out, right? Hmm. Because she's straight up in the Thieves Guild. Alright. Let's see. Please Avoid your pillow I'm issues. Listening. Oh god. Oh god, please. Let me out. Alright. Head on out over here. Androsa car should be right over this place. Right? We will even slay him with a sword. Let's see. Taunt. Let's see. Drosakar. Yeah, what is it? We didn't... We don't have anything to just fucking fuck him up, right? Yeah. We'll just taunt him. There we are. Good. Alright. And we'll fucking kill him as fast as possible. Great. Make sure he's on us. Here we go. Gotcha. Alright. Easy. And then, we'll head on out to Lorbamol. Goodness. Yeah, that's so strange. Because you would think her of all people... Because she's absolutely 110% in the in the Thieves' Guild. And doesn't seem like a target that you would want to kill for the debt. Hmm. It may be that I messed it up by accidentally speaking with Perseus and asking him orders. Alright, so then we want to stop by the Fighters' Guild. Check in with Lorbamal. Right? Well met, there we friend. are. And go on down this way. Let's see. Drosakar, yep, he's dead, I did it. No, I- I killed him. Oh my god, who did I just kill? Who did I just kill? You have Wait! Who was that guy? Was that not him? Oh my god, did I just kill some innocent guy? No way! What the fuck is happening? <laughs> what the fuck? Was that not him? Oh my god, I thought that was him! Hold the fucking phone. Let's see. St. Olms, right? That's where Drosakar is. Yeah, Drosakar, whoops. Don't want to know about Khajiits. Oh shit. Oh god, look. No wonder, <laughs> look. When I go up to click on here, sometimes, yeah, it's just Khajiit. Alright. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, St. Olms. Alright. Yeah, and he was right next door from what's her name? Oh, well, this isn't St. Holmes at all. Oh, but this one probably is. Right? No, yeah, this is. Okay, yeah, there we are. St. Holmes. And then he should be. South 2. <gasps> oh, God! F fuck me! Oh, my God! Oh, jeez! He was kept in a state of constant death! <laughs> fuck! Oh, Drosakar, you sick bastard! Oh, he had one last trick! Fuck you, Drosakar. Fuck. Did it work? Is he dead? If. God, what if I go back and he's. He just falls over dead again? No, okay. <laughs> I'm taking his money. Alright, here we are. Oh, and we better lay an egg as well. There we are. Maybe that's why it didn't work, because I didn't lay the egg. There we are. It definitely wasn't him being trapped in a state of near death for about. Three minutes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Fuck me. Good lord. Alright. 
Hopefully they don't get that one confused with the actual murders going on in Vivek. Here we go. And now we should be good to go, right? Let's see. Head on over here to... Fighters Guild. Great. Hey, and what? guess what? We have all of our Sujamas still weighing us down. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? Let's see. Drosakar. Yep, I did it. Taken care of. Okay. And then... Let's see. Orders. Now this time... Liriel Stoin. Right. Go collect the debt. Anything else? No, he doesn't have anything else. Orders. Oh, there we go. Look, we finally unlocked it. Okay. Now debt money is clickable. Yeah, look, up here it's not. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. All right. Suverin Dovis says that Liriel Stoin and Aldrun owes him 2,000 septums. Get Liriel's debt money and bring it back to me. You get to keep half of it yourself. Debt money. Liriel Stoin can be found at the rat in the pot and Aldrun. Go there, and get the 2,000 septum she owes us, and report back to me. Alright, there we go. Now we got the actual journal update. Okay, good. Alright, now we can go speak to Perseus, I'm assuming, and solve this in a Perseus pacifist way. Oh shit, whoops. I actually have to go to the... <laughs> the mage's guild. <laughs> Fuck me. Alright, good. And then we'll head on down to the travel guild guide. There we are. And let's see. This is probably a situation where we could just pay off the debt ourselves, right? Because there's a like a gazillion quest like that where they ask you to go get some money or whatever. Like we saw a lot with the alms collectors, right? You can just turn in the stuff yourself if you already happen to have it. But of course you miss out on a little bit of the extra text, right? Alright, Fighters Guild. Check in with Perseus, ask him about debt money, and we should be good to go. Alright, head on down here. And what's up, Perseus? Let's talk about debt money. It was not Liriel, er, Lyriel Stoin who owed the money, but her brother Rurin Stoin. Rurin was murdered. And I don't think Liriel has, er, Liriel has 2,000 septums. You'll have to either find the gold Rurin Stoin had, We'll pay the 2,000 septums yourself. Gotcha. Alright. Well, we can do that. Let's check in with her first. Alright. Go on over here. And let's see. Fortunately, we just have, like, gazillions and gazillions of septums. So it's no problemo. Pop our ass on over here. Good. And Luriel. What's up? Debt money. There we go. My brother, Rurin Stoin, is dead. The Kamana Tong said he owed them money, which I don't dispute. But now they say that I owe my brother's debts, and I just don't have the money. I can't pay what I don't have, can I? Rurin Stoin. He knew I was in debt. He went off to seek his fortune in some place called Malapi, northeast of Narmark. I haven't heard from him since. Malapi. All I know is that it is near Narmark. Perhaps you can find out more there. Oh, shit. Huh. Alright, see, this is good. Now we can head on out to Malapi. It sounds very familiar, though. Maybe we've already been to it. Let's see. Have we already unlocked it on the map? Narmark. Oh, no, wait. This is, is this Hla Odia? Okay. Narmark is a little bit further up. Alright. Cartag Point... Undisreth. Let's see. No, we don't have any Malapi. Okay. Yeah, but we can do that easy. Alright. Cool. When next we come back, we will head on out for... Narmok and go looking around for Malapi, or ask around for Malapi. And, worst case scenario, we've already been in Malapi and cleared it out. And we'll just pay the debt ourselves, right? Alright. But... We should be able to find... Well, maybe he's not even... Maybe he'll be dead. He'll probably be dead. <laughs> oh, maybe they already found him there, killed him, and took the money. Maybe that's what we'll uncover. That would make sense. All right. And they're just trying to double down. They're trying to double dip on the debt. That would... That seems scummy enough. All right. 
But for now, if you'd like to stick around, we will, of course, be doing a little bit of reading. And what will we, will we be reading today but another one of the lessons of Vivek? This time, it's like number 33. Let's whip open our inventory here. And yep, there we go, 33. Let me check that off the list. Good. All right, 36 lessons of Vivek, Sermon 33. Oh, look, we actually got a skill up from that one. The 36 Lessons of Vivek, Sermon 33. Then Vivek left the litany hall of the false thinking temple, where he had brooded for so long, creating the scripture of the pounding light, and went back to the space that was not a space. From the provisional house, he looked into the middle world to find the seventh monster called Lie Rock. Lie Rock was born of Vivek's second aperture, and was thrown out of the pomegranate banquet by a member of the Sweeps, another forgotten guild. The Sweep did not take it for the monster that it was, and so he did not expect it to fly from his hand and into the heavens. What the fuck? What is this all about? I am born of golden wisdom and powers that should have forever been unalike. With this nature, I am invited into the hidden heaven. Oh, which is what um, the Dwemer were trying to figure out, right? The Hidden Heaven, you could probably reason that that's, that's maybe what the, that's referring to. By which he meant the scaled blanket made of not stars, whose number is 13. Wait, what? Huh. So it is, act well, yeah, I don't know then. Whose number is 13. What the fuck does that mean? Lyrock became full of foolishness, haggling with a void ghost who hides in the religions of all men. The void ghost said, Stay with me a full hundred years, and I will give you a power that no divinity will dare disobey. But before the hundred years was up, Vivek was already looking for Lyrock and found him. Stupid stone, Vivek said. To hide in the scaled blanket is to make a mark on nothing. His bargains are only for ruling kings. So Vivek sent the Hortator to the heavens to shave Lyrock asunder by the named axe. Nerevar made peace with the South Pole Star of Thieving, and the North Pole Star of Warriors, and the Third Pole Star, which existed only in the Aether, which was governed by the Apprentice of Magnus, the Sun. They gave him leave to wander among their charges and gave him red sight by which to find Lie Rock in the hidden heaven. Oh, you think red sight is referring to when when they all got cursed and their eyes turned red? Huh. What would Lie Rock be? Maybe the heart of Lorcan. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. And Lie Rock is is more referring to all the lies that the tribunal made surrounding the heart and how they interacted with it? Maybe? By chance, Nerevar met the Void Ghost first, who told him that he was in the wrong place, to which the Hoarder said, Me? Or you? Damn, how fucking cool! <laughs> what an action hero movie line! Alright, and the Void Ghost said, Both. This sermon does not tell what else was said between these matters. Lyrock, however, used the confusion to launch his own attack on the city god Vivek. He was hastened by all three of the Black Guardians who wanted him swiftly gone, though they meant no hostility to the Lord of the Middle Air. The citizen. Oh, maybe Lyrock is. Bardal. Surely not. Maybe? No. Right? Maybe. Huh. I guess it it could be. Lyrock, yeah, was born of the second aperture and was thrown out of the pomegranate banquet by a member of the sweeps. Huh. So he did not expect it to fly from his hand and into the heavens. Dude, I bet it is! I bet Live Rock is fucking Bardal, the big old prison planet. 
Oh my god! And the pomegranate banquet must mean all of the Daedric princes and stuff, right? The prin the Daedric princes of Oblivion. A member of the Sweeps. I mean, clearly the member of the Sweep has to be Shea Gorath, because we know that's who threw it, right? But is there like is there some grouping of Daedric princes of which Shea Gorath is a part of? I'm not sure. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if we'll actually hear more about Bardal in any of Shivering Isles. Huh. That never occurred to me. Alright. Let's go on back here. Let's see. Me or you? This sermon does not tell what else was said between these masters. Lyrock, however, used the confusion to launch his own attack on the city god Vivek. He was hastened by all three of the Black Guardians, who wanted him swiftly gone, though they meant no hostility to the Lord of the Middle Air. The citizenry of Vivek screamed as they saw a shooting star come down out of the sky like a toll road of hell. But Vivek merely raised his hand and froze Lai Rock just above the city, and then he pierced the monster with Muatra. Oh, God! The practice of piercing the second aperture is now forbidden. <laughs> when Nerevar returned, he saw the frozen comet above his lord's city. He asked whether or not Vivek wanted it removed. I would, I would have done so myself if I wanted, silly Hortator. I shall keep it there, with its last intention intact, so that, so that if the love of the people of this city for me ever disappear, so shall the power that holds back their destruction. Jesus! Nerevar said, Love is under your will only. Vivek smiled and told the Hortator that he had become a minister of truth. The ending of the words is Almsivi. Good God. What the fuck is that about? Huh. All right, so Lyrock, Rock, man, if only I'd read forward a little bit, would have totally figured out exactly what the fuck that was about. But, huh. So from his hand, whose hand was it again? The Sweep. Yeah. Another forgotten guild. I guess by guild it means Sheogorath and all of the Daedra under Sheogorath's command. Like, maybe forgotten guild it re refers to a different plane of oblivion, like the Shivering Isles. Something like that. Could be. Huh. I'm invited into the Hidden Heaven, which is probably Aetherius, right? By which he meant the Scale Blanket, made of not stars, whose number is 13. Which I'm not sure what that's referring to. Is it saying literally, like, they're not stars as in not Aetherius? Not what we actually think it is? I'm not sure. Whose number is 13. Haggling with the Void Ghost, who hides in the religions of all men. Probably Sithis? Because Sithis is very much Void-related, right? Void Ghost is probably Sithis, right? So in some way, Sithis was tied to Bardal? Stay with me a full hundred years, and I will give you a power that no divinity sh will dare disobey. But before the hundred years was up, Vivek was already looking for Lyrock Rock and found him. Huh. Interesting. Weird. Yeah, I'm not sure. Alright, and then for some reason, Nerevar went through to the main birth sign uh, constellations, right? Warrior, thief, and wizard, or whatever it is, mage. Huh. Yeah. Alright. I mean, although we made a lot of sense out of a lot of parts of this, right? There's still a lot that doesn't quite make sense. <laughs> this is probably about as good as it'll get, right? Unless, like we said in, in the final book, it's, it just says, I killed him. <laughs> Alright, well, when next we come back, more of doing Lorbermol Grow a Glox bullshit, and we will head on out to Narmok. Until next time, peace. Peace.